The breathtaking sport of thoroughbred racing is in full swing right now at Tampa Bay Downs with a big stakes race this weekend. And if you haven't been to this beautiful track, well, this is the perfect opportunity for you to get out and do so. Joining me today is the official track handicapper, Andrew Dembski. Good morning, Andrew. How are you? Good morning. Glad to be on with you. Well, I'll say we're very excited that you're here because I think we've got a few different topics we want to discuss. First, track handicapper. Explain what that is for people who are new to horse racing. Yeah, sure. Like, my basic job at the track is to kind of provide insight and analysis into the race and give people kind of an idea of what horses may have the best chance of winning. Uh, I do a ton of research, uh, a ton of homework. I think most of my job is probably homework, watching replays and kind of studying these horses. And then at the track, uh, you'll see me on the video board there giving out advice before every race. So I spend probably four or five minutes before the race kind of discussing it with the public. And my job is pretty much to kind of open up a conversation uh, about gambling and about horse racing. And like I said, who might have the best chance of winning so you can hopefully walk out with more money than you came in with. So you're the guy that people want to talk to because you know these horses that people are going to get to see at the races. Yeah, that's the idea anyway. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> these horses uh, will prove you wrong occasionally. It's kind of a humbling game, uh, but there's a reason we line them up and race them. You know, race favorites don't always win races, mm -hmm. so you have a good chance sometimes to, to catch a ticket, catch an upsetter and maybe make some money. And I'm uh, kind of kind of putting together what you're doing. There's a lot of opinion too to what you do. So I'm assuming it can be a little controversial a little bit as well. Sometimes, yeah. I mean, but that's what's great about what I do. Uh, I kind of open up a conversation uh, about horse racing. I mean, horse racing in general, uh, especially the, the gambling aspect of it, mm -hmm. um, it's a paramutual system, which means you're kind of betting against the public. You bet against yourselves. Uh, the odds are controlled based on how people are betting into the races. So sometimes horse racing opinions are kind of <clears throat> A secretive almost like people don't want to share that information so my job is to really open up that conversation uh, I am somebody who's very accessible at the track I'm always there I'm right by the paddock where the horses get saddled every day so if anybody needs uh, any questions I'm happy to answer uh, anything you have uh, that you might be wondering about about horse racing and I would say this really is the perfect opportunity perfect weekend to come out because I know the racing season here is coming to a close what is so special about this weekend all right well Sunday uh, the second it's Florida Cup Day and it's kind of a celebration of the best Florida bred horses uh, this year, all the purses went up from $75,000 to $100,000, and that's six stakes races we have, all for Florida breads. There's different categories uh, in the races, uh, whether they be three-year-old sprint races or mm -hmm. races for older horses on the grass going long. I think my favorite race is probably um, the uh, Turf Classic, which is the final race of the six stakes races. It's a turf race for older horses uh, going a mile and an eighth. So it's a test of stamina. It's a test of the rider's skills in terms of timing those race moves that are so important on the turf course. So it's a very exciting race. They're going to fill the gate. We're going to have 10 horses in the starting gate, which makes it better for the betting public and a more exciting finish. I'll say, what can people, if they've never been to Tampa Bay Downs, what can people expect? Because it's not just horse racing. You guys really have world-class entertainment right at the fingertips here in Tampa Bay. Absolutely, and it's such a, a beautiful facility. Facility. It really is. I'm, I'm so happy that I get to go there every day. You know, I don't feel like I go to work. I just go to the track. Uh, but it really is a, a phenomenal facility. I mean, we have a poker room there, which does pack the place. Uh, and that's open till 4 a.m. every day. So if you, after the race, if you want to stay around, but the, the food there, the dining options are great. There's probably six or seven dining options, whether it be just a basic concession snack bar or our formal dining room that overlooks the track. So you have a wide variety of places where you can eat at the track. The picnic area is phenomenal uh, for kids and families. Mm -hmm. uh, it's nice to see kids at the track and especially where the picnic area is located. Uh, it's pretty close to the walking ring or the saddling paddock, which means you can get up close yeah. to the horses before the race and kind of get a glimpse of what's going on with all the riders and trainers hanging around and talking about kind of tactics before the race, which is nice to be able to get so close because it is kind of a small, intimate facility. Well, Andrew, before we let you go, I got to take advantage of having you here with the Kentucky Derby right around the corner. Any good Florida horses that we can look out for? Well, it's very exciting uh, this year in the Derby. Uh, well, McCracken is probably the number one contender right now. And he actually won the Sam F. Davis Stakes here, uh, which is a prep race for the Derby. And of okay. course, the Tampa Bay Derby uh, is a major prep for the Kentucky Derby. And a horse named Taprit, who ran second in the Sam F. Davis, he won the Tampa Bay Derby. He right now, he's maybe top 10 in some of the top 10 lists for people who are predicting some of the best mm -hmm. horses who will run in Kentucky in the first Saturday in May. Mm -hmm. I love Taprit. Uh, I'm a big fan of him. He's a big, beautiful gray horse with a big white blaze. And mm -hmm. I wish he wouldn't wear blinkers just so I could see his beautiful face, uh, but a, a stellar looking animal and I'm pulling for him this year. Okay, I'm gonna have to take notes on that. Appreciate your time. Thank you again. And if you wanna check out, or you can also watch the Derby at Tampa Bay Downs if you're interested in doing that too. So they've got you covered. Thank you again for coming in, Andrew. We appreciate it.